This is Megan Azzarino and you're watching philippinenews.com. Oh man, it was uh, yeah. it was it was a good fight, and um, I fought a you know a very tough opponent. Um, even though I went up to 115 to fight, and and I still you know still we got get the decision, and uh, uh, it, it was it, it was really tough fight over there in, in Mexico City because uh, it, it was hard for me to breathe, man. And, uh, but at least you know I'm so I'm so glad that I was so in shape and I was able to go 12 rounds. Uh, in the early, early rounds, you know, I, I noticed that you know he was slower than me, and uh, I and I was hurting him. But the thing is, uh, in in the sixth round, when I hurt him, when I hurt him really bad to the body, when I you know when I was throwing a lot of combination, and and when I when I trying to step back and breathe, I was having a hard time breathing. I couldn't get the air, so uh, that's why uh, when I hurt him in the sixth round, I, you know, um, I kind of backed out and you know like trying to recuperate and uh, because it's real. I mean. To be, I mean, fighting in a, uh, almost 8,000 feet high, ab above, you know, above sea le uh, level, it's, it was different. And now I notice, you know, uh, that you cannot just go out, out in there without, you know, training in a high altitude. Also, it was, it was different. Uh, I was impressed with his performance. Kahit na medyo kinapos ang hangin ng dead dead pero hindi siya napagod pero naano sa don sa altitude pero okay na na naalorin kami sa laban eh. Um, mara sa ano ni Glingen, malaking pinagbago ng laban niya kaysa nung dati. Kaya nga nakakaedad siya pero lalo siyang mabilis, parang parang nasa 18 years old yung mga ano niya, galaw, mabilis, malakas. So malaking pinagbago, malaking pag-asa ang magiging world champion. Um, the movement, you know, the the movement that my dad really put, you know, put on, you know, in in, in my arsenal before, you know, I, I used to be just a, a fighter. You know, just go forward now. You know, my dad. You know, have me moving side to side. You know, be quick. You know, like, you know, don't get hit. But um, that's that's the main thing. You know, when I was doing it and I was making a mess. Every time I make a mess, you know, I come back and and you, you know hurt him. So I think that's that's the one that's uh, you know, that's the one that really got me, you know, uh, winning the fight. Yeah, man. I mean, I really want to, you know, say thank you to to my sponsors and you know, without you, I mean. Especially the Gabuka and family dentistry, you know, for giving us a uh, a lodging at uh, at uh, um, at Tahoe, and that that thing really helped me. You know, I noticed, you know, the difference between uh, training in a high altitude place, and also to my uncle Dale Denner for you know giving me a uh, a room at uh, at the at the Reno, uh, you know, high at Reno, and train there also in uh, um, Carson City. And also, I want to thank the night uh, Liquid Nitro, um, the Gabuka family uh, dentistry. Um, uh, the pink azul, and uh, you know uh, the awesome print. And thank you so much for you know for your support and for believing in me. Thank you. I mean, I just wanna you know uh, you know say thank you to all the people that supported me, especially my family and you know and friends and everybody here at Kennel Boxing Gym. You know that's really supported me, and, and all of my friends out there and my you know my the Donair family, the uh, the Jugara family, the Kaganan family, and. Uh, and 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 to you guys right now watching thank you so much.